Hello, so today I'll be doing some obscure stuff. As you can see, this is a clearly designed dungeon, and just, but it's actually not a dungeon, it's just a bunch of staircases. Now, this is a bit of a spoiler thing, but it will help us in the future. Not now, but in the future only. <laughs> I don't think they can hit me anyway. Well, if we wait for the elevator, they might hit me. So the map being so different for everybody, it's a bad thing because the map has a specific layout, meaning you have certain things that will always be on the map. And then we have some things that will not always be on the map, variable things. Yes. Now over here I found the Ionic Crystal which is supposed to be a weapon mode, but it had the word wall in it and that sounds defensive, I don't like defensive stuff. So over here as you can see, you just come here, get that thing, get that spotted, but there is more. <laughs> it's a very hidden path over here. And I think this will be a guaranteed drop, meaning it will be here every time you play the game, but I guess it depends on the map. Well, okay, I don't think it, it can be a guaranteed drop, but sometimes it will be here. And from what I understand, this item is related to the final boss. Again, I really wish the developers would have given more uh, insight to the items you are getting. But I don't know, I guess they wanted to make everything very secret, top secret, but at the same time, you are going to replay the game one million times if you have no idea what to do with the items you get. Hmm. Oh, so as you can see, this overlooks that room that we were previously in. Sadly, I think the elevator should reset. As you're going to be using them more the first way than the second way. So as you can see, we're just wasting time here, about 3 minutes wasted and we haven't done anything. So this is not a dungeon, I think I should have had another dungeon, but instead of a dungeon, I just got this area with the Ionic Crystal, which probably can... <coughs> <coughs> can spawn anywhere in the world. Then I have this little area over here. I was eating some potato chips. Nah, very salty, very dry. Seeker Primus of the House Al Marunon are made of the same substance that breathes stars and shapes planets. There is no difference between the Drazir and the Comet or Gas Nebula, save for one thing. We know. For a thousand millennia, we have sought others like ourselves. Stardust that knows. How wasteful this was. How selfish our quest. To fear that we needed connection. As we wandered in the dark. The dark itself grew deeper. The very stars shuddering in our vainglorious quest. Only at the end do we see the truth. There is chaos in truth. Ruin in clarity. Here at the seat of creation, we see the eyes of the Creator. Hear her call, and are thus unraveled. She waits. We squandered what was most precious, and so the curse we cultivated. Now we descend into darkness to bear our souls to the endless. There can be no other path, because we know. 
Well, if you know, can you tell me as well? Because this this was supposed to be some kind of uh, some kind of a philosophy stupid thing, but it just came very vain and I don't know. I don't like it. It could have been another approach to bring in these guys. I like the overall story, but the way they are telling it is bad. The custodian turned on the Drizir. Oh, so the custodian turned on the Drizir. The seekers took extra steps to ensure their own creations will never betray them again, at least not of their own accord. So the custodian betrayed the Dri What's that noise? So the custodian betrayed the Drizir, so he's not actually saving them. So I guess this kind of gives you a hint. If you use this item at some point in the game, you will fight the custodian. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, looks like there's nothing else here. And I think this will just lead us outside and then we'll go to the next part of the area in the quest. Yeah, this just leads back outside. Okay, for the sake of having fun, I'll not die. Well, I'll try not to die, but it's pretty hard not to die in this game when you're just going from one location to another. So kind of, let's kind of refresh the custodian story in our minds. Where did that one come from? Yeah, this is why I don't like fighting. As soon as you shoot someone, you trigger a spawn or a swarm, and then the swarm might trigger an elite. I'm full out on experience until I go to the next art type. But to do that, guess what? Yeah, this is one of the major problems of the game and I wanted to showcase it. So as you can see, you are triggering wave after wave and that will trigger a, eventually an elite and... It is so much better yeah. to just die than to wait all of that. Let's go to Ascension Spire and I also got another item. Again, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to know all of these things or get all of these items. Uh, but uh, I think Terminal Station is a guaranteed, guaranteed dungeon, so that means the Decorum Cypher is also a guaranteed item to get. So as you can see we got something, a bit of information that the Custodian turned his back on the Drizir, 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 and he says he wants to save the Drizir, but he doesn't really want that. Probably. So, the Decorum Cypher is basically a sociopathic AI. And I got that one from the terminal station. Well, I guess I can show you on the map. And once you finish the terminal station train ride, and then there you just have to go into a little tunnel, terminal station over here, go into a little tunnel. I mean, first you have to go up a ladder, go into a little tunnel, get the decipher codex, the quorum cipher. Then come over here, say hello to the custodian if you want. It just does throat sinking all the time. What do you report? Proceed. This is Nerud. 
the home and stellar conveyance of the once great. Unfortunately, it found. Our journey brought naturally. Alepsis Torah is a supermassive black hole unlike anything else previously. It may seem counterintuitive, but my calculations. Find the core and shut it down. Yes. Behind the statues over here, there is a hole, another hole. This this has so many holes, I wonder why they cannot get the carpenter to fix all of this. Let's listen to this as well. After countless centuries, we have arrived at our destination. The seat of creation. Oh, come on. It cancels that even if you just press a button. That's so stupid. After about that. countless centuries. Destination, the seat of creation, Alepsis Torah. All paths have led us here. Within that engulfing black, every stellar current of the entire universe is guided and formed. An eternal choreography to the dance. We did not come here thinking to find life, for nothing could survive this void that has consumed a hundred trillion oh. stars. Hello. Rather, rather, we seek the origins of the universe. Entropy is implacable, but perhaps there is a means to reverse it, or else uh, recreate its formation. A means we might find here, at the beginning and the end of all things. We have found so much more. We have collected and deciphered in an in incontestable amount of data from within. And while the results are far less conclusive than we would like, a clear pattern has emerged. The universe is not governed by random forces. It is malleable, calculated, subject to an algorithmic cogency that belies artificial, dare I say, intelligent design. A creator. We must learn more. Some wish to enter the black hole, an attempt to meet our ostensible architect. This desire is logical given how little we have been able to learn remotely. But it makes me uneasy. A foul smell shimmers on the horizon of time. The, the ambit ember will show me more, but it will take time. Thankfully, those who would face Alepsis Torah are a minority. The Drazir have always trusted the intuition of the astropaths. That is why we exist. The Drazir will not alter course now. Okay, so that gives you a lot of backstory to the Drazir and their intentions and the custodian and yeah, a lot of things. This is the Drazir. Replicator, Mother Pro... Locator. Oh, we can craft a melee weapon. We only need 15 galvanized iron, which you cannot currently get. Salvage, salvaged heart. 50% on new speed bonus on new seals. 30. Oh, okay. So this is a, just a much, much faster heal. I'm not sure. Innate 50% new speed bonus. I. Yes, it's the salvage heart that will give you a faster healing, but less healing overall. And this does 100% of current grey health, so I guess this one is much easier to use, and you should use it when you lose a lot of grey health, so after getting hit. Interesting. Rangefinder, which is an amulet. Killing an enemy stacks... Uh, I don't like stuff that stacks after killing enemies. While a shield is active, gain 10% critical chance and 15% wall damage dealt. That's amazing! I will craft this one because I have a way to generate shield with my ring that gives me sh shield whenever I 
We consume 25 stamina, but only for 5 seconds. That's great, I really need this one. That's a lot of damage. So, an acid amulet. Micro compressor. Basically, for overheating for automatic guns. Meteor shattering. <laughs> I remember this one, so you get more encumbrance, meaning you can wear, you have to wear lighter armor if you don't care about armor at all. Just does, does un more unarmed damage. Interesting. Pardon of the Mariner. Increases cooldown by 25%? Why is that good? This one doesn't make sense. Why do you want this one? Prevents suppression blight. Yeah, I'll get that one. I'll also get this one. Oh, how much crap do I have? No, I want to save up for the amulet. So that's crafting. Well, so you can buy stuff. Xenoplasm, concoction, skill cooldown. Ambit Ember. So does, the, does this mean I can enter the Blight now? We can enter the Blight and search for the Engineer uh, archetype. Okay, that's going to be fun. That's the ring I was talking about. Movement speed is increased by that amount. Okay. Re routing cable plus momentum driver. And this is just better healing. The less health I have, the better. I have more power and more damage. Kind of a nice synergy between them. So, where do I use the thingy? Hmm, what happens if I go the other way? I also wanted to do a dungeon today, but eh, I guess I can do the dungeon as well since it's pretty short. Well, I say short, but I have no idea how long it will take me. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. This is where we use the decorum cipher. Objective success. So I guess it just opens the door over here. Or we have the core booster amulet. Ah, interesting. Export damage by 50% for 10 seconds after killing an enemy. I guess this is a great item if you're a hunter. If you're facing enemies with a weak spot. These secrets are quite amazing and fun to find and to search for, but man, does it take a long time. Also, saw a little pathway over here. What is well, the cave? Is pretty handy. Maybe she can make something with this. What's a, we are finding secrets inside secrets inside secrets. This is crazy and circuit is growling at you. Sure, I mean we still have to have the ionic stuff.
Okay, that's a lot of items I just got from a single video. Again, this is the information. So this is how I played the game. I played the game for hours at that time. And then I just make one single video with all of the things I found or all of the information I got. Okay, I guess that's a lot of information, but again, I don't like the fact that you can just miss so many things by... I don't know, not understanding a basic mechanic or maybe you you assume both elevators will take you in the same direction. So you think this elevator will take you out and that elevator will take you out. It's not going to be the case. I guess you can enjoy his throat con singing concert from here. Hey, you have a rope. <laughs> oh man, okay. So let me look at, again at this vendor. So there's not much you can buy from here. The only thing I really, really want to buy is that amulet. I guess I should also buy this salvage heart. I might be able to use it at some point. But my opinion build just makes it better to basically use when I'm on low health. Because of that ring I have. I roll damage. It does do a lot of damage, probably it's very fast as well. Conservation seal. So 50%, 50% chance to not consume heric, uh, not chance to consume relic. Also 50% better, so that means I will heal about uh, 100 HP, so that's why I prefer it. Man, resources are so tight in this game. Okay, let's go up. Sorry about all of the breaks and stuff like that, I'll have timestamps in the video, of course. Okay, I guess that's all I wanted to do for now. Let's go back to base. So again, this is not part of my let's play per se. This is just stuff I do in between the let's plays and all of the other stuff. And also I need to increase my... Uh, man, I'm missing a trade book. So I'm very upset that because you need trade, you need 10 trade books in order to advance and equip your secondary archetype. But I cannot find one more trade book in this area of the game. And that means I have to leave it. And I don't want to leave the area until I found everything in the area. It's kind of a stupid thing, I don't know how the developers could mess up so some of these things. Come on, can you do it faster? I, I don't like waiting for her. Okay, so the energy wall, energy barrier on impact with ground, uh, Alice can shoot, but enemies are absorbed. Max one wall at a time, 30 seconds. Doesn't seem like this is useful because you can, uh, enemies, bosses, or uh, usually elites just go for it. Oh, shock ammunition. So we have fire ammunition. This is shock ammunition. Increase fire by 15%, reload speed, overload. Well, let me see how expensive that shock ring is. Uh, I've been looking to switch to the assault rifle or a weapon with more firepower. Hello again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think you'll have a electricity or a shock ring. Yeah, <laughs> ten percent more shock damage. Which I think I should buy just for the future as well. Okay, 999. That's so annoying. I think I'm to sell a Luminite crystal. Take care now, traveler. You know, I like this mod a lot. But I think I want to replace the scrap shot because it's not so useful with the crab space crabs over there. And all we want to give it is the overflow. Actually not on this gun. Okay, let's see what assault rifles we have. 
at Brabus. So considering activates even when you are not in combat in World 13. What you need. Now it... So let me see, we don't have a lot of automatic guns and that's what I don't really like. So yeah, we have the bone saw or this one. I think it's just better to get a assault rifle because the machine gun, I really like how it is and how it's designed. But when it doesn't have a lot more DPS, I mean the rounds per seconds are not double. They're kind of double, so that means... That means this will be an 18. Again, this is more or less the same thing, except this will overheat before you get a chance to do all of the damage. And from what I can see, it's 20 meters versus 19 meters. 300. Yeah, let's get this one. <laughs> he really sounds like I think you're supposed to sound like the merchant from Resident Evil 4. Ho ho ho, what you buying? <laughs> uh, of course the problem was that this gun was upgraded to level 4. I'll upgrade, I'll upgrade this gun as well. 5% so I'll keep that one just because it adds a lot of utility I'll keep that one because it adds a lot of utility as well I'm just experimenting a little bit let's see uh, I guess I can play a little more let's see if I can upgrade this weapon as well oh yeah definitely feels a lot better yeah. I just need to farm a lot more scrap, but I think this will increase my overall damage by a lot. Can I only use this at the shooting range, or what was the deal? Oh yeah, that's, that's a lot of utility over there. I can also change some other things around, but I don't want to give away my special ring that helps me traverse everything so much faster. I also have something for accuracy. Yeah. No, not that one. Focus point. Reducing missile spread and recoil by 35%. Beautiful, that doesn't even move right now. Yeah, I guess I don't need the shield that much anyway. So event suppression blight, and I guess I'll use this thing like I said to search for the engineer class which is supposed to be in the blight. On the second map of Nerud. Now... So I don't like that one either. It better look. Oh. I guess I can plot momentum driver, focus point, conservation, and black catering. Yeah, I really wish I could have had uh, this one as well, the routing cable. But I guess it's not so important. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a very accurate gun. I'll just have to upgrade it a few times, and plus, it looks so cool. Look at it. Look at it and wonder. Okay, let's try that again. So let's see how this works. Ah, 
I mean, provided the boss doesn't do anything crazy to me in about 5 or 10 seconds, I can shred everything. That's an amazing stuff. Also, I, re I really wanted something with reload speed that will help me. So as you can see, double the reload speed and 20%. Uh, beautiful. I don't like the that one, but this is so much better. Okay, this is the way I'll be playing from now on. See you next time. Bye-bye.